What kind of optimistic things do you await, you think awaits the farming industry in the UK? I think one of the, the huge advantages is, is that we will be able to tailor agricultural policy to suit British farming. The common agricultural policy has, has, has had to suit every uh, member state. So Northern Europe, Southern Europe, all have different farming needs. And it's been distributed in a way that is very difficult to make sure the money goes to the right places. So for example, it's been distributed uh, per acre, which means that huge landowners, their advantages to accumulating a lot of land and getting a lot of the farming subsidies, farming support. So the money has been reaching landowners, which has been encouraging these great big ghost farms and, and land mass and huge big agribusiness but it hasn't been rooting through to the farmers farming the land, the small and medium sized farmers who are absolutely intrinsic to keeping the countryside the way we like to see it, to keeping the life and soul in rural communities, uh, to preserving wildlife and local food production. So the cap system has actually not been very helpful for farmers per se um, in the United Kingdom. Um, and I think the other thing to remember is that we've been giving the EU a lot of money and only getting part of it back. So we're not only going to be able to tailor our policy, but we're going to be able to route the money to the right places. And we must remember that you know farming is a public service. It needs support. It can't be left exposed to free market forces. And so we'll be able to, the government will be able to hopefully provide farming with the right support, you know, that it needs to succeed in this country. I, I think there are enormous opportunities if they get it right.